say. Y'all ladies, he basically just said that we do things shabbily because guess what? Who's got dinner on the table, got your kids fed, got them clothed, got the diapers changed, and still manages to service you? Huh? Are you trying to tell me that all that is done shabbily? No. That's what I thought. Hi there, my name is Elizabeth. Hey, my name is Ugo. And welcome to another episode of Youthful Vibes, where we bring fun and enlightenment to, to the, the journey, journey of you. Today we're going to be talking about three things that I wish I knew about men before getting married. Three things she wished she knew before she got scammed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I wouldn't really call it a scam. Yes, that's true. I bet. I am awesome. No. <laughs> There's also some things that, you know, he learned about himself along the way. But we'll get into that later. We often do another video, three things that I wish I knew about women before got married. And number one can't be that he knew that, that like, he didn't know that they were crazy because he knew how crazy I was. He knew before we got married. Yeah. He knew because we were friends and I told him how crazy I was. Yeah, whatever. You, so, think, you think they're this crazy and then you get married and you find out that they're this. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Nah. Uh -oh. Crazy. I told him from the jump I was a key your car slash your tires type crazy. Okay, that's for the next video. For this video, talk about you and the things you discovered about, man. Go ahead, shoot. Anyway, let's start with number one, shall we? Number one thing that I wish I knew about men before getting married is the fact that they like to withdraw and they like to take some time for themselves. So men are like basically like waffles and they're in these little boxes. That's how they categorize themselves like TV, Xbox, PlayStation, work family, alone time. So you what see that little box right there that's their you. alone time box? They like to take that box. What a way to objectify men, but... Objectify? That is not face. objectifying. Objectifying is like saying, oh, he got a nice booty in them jeans. That's objectifying. That's sexualizing men. Objectifying. Anyway, you're making us objects, <laughs> and we don't like that. I speak on behalf of the man. But yes, I do agree with her, actually. I feel like uh, for relationships to thrive, you do need to give the other party some space to recharge, and particularly men, because we have to listen to all of the stuff y'all got to do, right? So everything you have coming, after a while, we're like, okay, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. I want to remember again what it feels like to be single. <laughs> so <laughs> you go over there, <laughs> take the kids with you, <laughs> and allow me some me time. Uh, but that's not just me. There's this really great book, Men Are From Mars. Women are from Venus, and it's an amazing book. There's different variations of it, but it talks about it, and it's really true that after a while, men need some space, some alone time to just recharge and reconnect with the lion. We can come back roaring, you know? Like, Ugh. Well, you keep that lion over there. Yeah. So I can talk about the second thing that I wish that I knew, which is the fact that they like to fix things, okay? And I'm gonna mesh this with another point. So they like to fix things. You go and you're talking about how Sa Sally has stolen your brownie or whatever, and they're thinking about how they're going to make you a new brownie to replace the brownie that Sally so uh, stole while you're really just trying to vent about the fact that Sally stole your brownie. First things first, why in the world are you telling me about Sally and the brownie if you don't A, want me to go whoop her for stealing your brownie or B, make you a new brownie? Why are we talking about this? If, we, if, if the fix is simple, let's fix it and move on. <laughs> you know, move on with our lives. Well, he's saying that. But let's talk about how long it takes them to actually fix the things that you want them to fix, okay? Be like, um, babe, the tap in the guest bathroom is broken. Okay, don't worry, I'll get right on that. Two months later, you've got guests coming. Babe, the tap in the guest bathroom is, is, still, is still broken. Oh, don't worry, I'll get on that. Your guests arrive. Babe, the tap in the guest bathroom is broken. Babe. Okay, y'all, like it's so crazy. I was literally talking okay. to my, uh, 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 I'm not done. I was literally talking to my neighbor about this and he told me this joke that I feel like I just need to share with the rest of the Nobody world. Nobody cares about your neighbor. Yes, jokes. yes, I care. And I feel like the world needs to hear this. So he was telling me about how 
it also takes him forever to fix things apparently. And so there's this joke and the way that it goes is Susie is talking to Mike about how there was hey, something Susie, that, Susie, Susie, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just making a hypothetical person, okay. talking to Mike about how something needed to get done, okay? And Mike is like, don't worry, I'm gonna get it done. You don't have to remind me every six months. Ha, 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 ha. Needed to be shared. That's that how done. long it takes men if to get things done. If you didn't get the joke, that was a punchline. So if you're not <laughs> laughing at that point, she screwed it up. But it's okay. Wow. So first things Whatever. first, in, 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 in our defense as men, women don't tell us to do stuff. Y'all don't tell us to do stuff and stuck into other women out there and ask us to do it in six months. You say, you see me clearly engrossed in something. I'm, I'm engrossed in something. I'm doing something. It's, it's, my mind is gone. Work or, I don't know, chilling, taking out my me time. And then you're going to say, hey, go fix a tap in the guest bedroom. Oh, bathroom. I was, uh, bathroom, whatever. No, I was just here with so much time on my hands and doing nothing productive so that I can just leave everything I'm doing and I tend to your little bath, whatever, in the Yes, bathroom. No, I'll get to it when I get to it. Well, he gave me a great leeway into number three thing that I wish that I knew about men, okay? They don't know how to multitask. How he was just talking about, I was in the middle of my alone time. You saw what I was doing, this, that, and the other. Y'all, if a man is watching TV, if he is playing games, even if he is just sending an email or a text message, do not talk to that man because he is not listening. I can guarantee you that if you go back in five minutes and ask him what you just told him, he will give you a half of But why do you answer. guys do it? Why do you still do it? So, you don't so, know how okay. to multitask. Okay, okay. First things first, for the 10th time, it might be the case. Men have a hard time multitasking. Most mm. men, and even the ones I'm that I'm pretty claim, sure there's research out there that says that men cannot multitask. Okay, first of all, 99% of men have a hard time multitasking. The other 1%, they're lying about it. <laughs> all of us do, okay? It's a general thing that Yes, happens. because once Being upon a time, hold... this one right here told me that he could multitask. Lie. Okay, so um, multitasking, from the perspective of being able to have a lot of things on your to-do list and then working on your to-do list one thing at a time oh, is different from holding 10 things in your head and doing all of them shabbily, okay? Oh, so I'm saying, that's, I'm saying, y'all ladies, you basically just said that we do things shabbily because guess what, who's got dinner on the table, got your kids fed, got them clothes, got the diapers changed and still manages to service you. Huh? Are you trying to tell me that all that is done shabbily? No. That's what I thought. Smart. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching our video. But, I yeah. hope that you have enjoyed it. If you would like more videos like these, please stay tuned and comment, share, and subscribe. Have a fantastic week. You didn't tell me we're coming here to do a rant contest or a wash down contest on men. What? What do you mean? You essentially just came here and just vented on everything. You were looking to tell me and my mama sends. <laughs> and we're done. Kudos. I can't wait till three things that women do. Ah.